night, things got pretty steamy on The Bachelor this week. So steamy, they couldn't fit it all in one episode, so they had to do two steam-filled episodes. Oh, Here man. to break it all down this week is Bachelorette <laughs> alum, Dustin Kendrick. Dustin, man, they went to tropical islands, all sorts of places. What'd you think? Uh, they did a lot. I thought it was good, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they was did a lot, a lot indeed. It was Three a, hours and two hours. It was a lot to take it's in. It's five hours too much, though. It's a bit much, to, yes, in my opinion. thank you. Amy agrees. I it's think everybody's much. in agreement on that. Okay, right. so it was a big week, uh, just a big bad Bachelor batch, you call it, went from 12 girls to six, starting Monday in the city of Pura Vida, Costa Rica, with Kelly from Chicago, our hometown girl, on a one-on-one -on -one date, and things got pretty real. I think she opened up pretty well. Yeah. Listen up. Honestly, what do you want out of all this at the end of this? If our relationship is strong enough, I could for sure be, like, engaged. The reason I say like engaged is because right now, I clearly know, like, our relationship isn't in a place where, like, I would be comfortable with that right now. Um, but I don't necessarily know how, like, the process goes from here. She says, like, a lot. Uh, <laughs> what do you think? Break it down for us, Dustin. What's happening um, here? I thought that was actually a good date. You know, a lot of the dates aren't all roses. And it's, that was really assuring that, you know, sometimes you just got to get things figured out. You yeah. know, it's real, and you got to figure it out. And mm -hmm. it's just not always roses and cupcakes. Like an actual relationship, right? <laughs> right, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. But, I mean, early on in a relationship, don't you want it to be a little bit more roses and cupcakes? Or do you think that keeping it real at least gives them a view of who this person really is? I mean, we're, we're talking about a, a shaman date, which is unusual. For sure. And, you know, this is all expedited. So at the beginning of the show, that's like your fun hanging out. But now it's starting to get real. You know, he's okay. making cuts. He's He's trying to find a wife. Mm -hmm. Look, Kelly's an adult, okay? Oh, all right, Brandon. <laughs> she, I never doubt she, that. She's showing that, right. okay? She's not here for the game. She's just trying to get real and have a relationship. All right, so it. last night we are in Chile. So, Peter, that takes us there uh, to a two-on-one date, which I never really watched a show before this year. This is where a lot of drama happens, I'm learning. All right, so we have McKenna <laughs> and uh, another one of the girls. Tammy. Tammy involved in this. So uh, give us a little of the breakdown before we for sure. What what's, what's their beef? It goes down. Mm -hmm. In this, if I could say. Um, uh -huh. But anyways, uh, Tammy is calling out McKenna about not being there for the right reasons, um, all about her hashtag, Instagram life or whatnot. Mm -hmm. uh, McKenna calls out Tammy as being a snitch. Are mm. you going to snitch on me again? Mm -hmm. um, actually, so there's a lot of back and forth. There's a lot of back and forth. McKenna actually goes to Pete and actually snitches on Tammy, which Whoa. I was confused by. Mm. Um, we have a clip here. We want to show part let's, of let's this. Let's see it. Yeah. Yeah. You said to me earlier. Mm -hmm. I am just really disappointed in you, McKenna. I told Peter the truth, and just be prepared to answer questions. Yeah, I'm ready. McKenna's on borrowed time. She's been here way too long, and Peter needs to see that. I'm wearing black today because it's her funeral. See you later. <laughs> You know, but coincidentally, it wasn't yes. her funeral. It was Tammy's. Right. <laughs> it was well, the, Tammy's. Yes. At and first. That, that was dramatic, right? For sure. Um, yeah. Tammy actually went home first. Yeah. Through that two on one date. Mm -hmm. But the funny thing is that McKenna went home just like an hour later. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> well, so she's so both happy gone. there. Yeah, she, look at her. Like, she's laughing. And she's thinking, oh, I got it now. I got it now. I'm set. And then. Uh, uh, eliminates McKenna. I believe we have a, 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 that dramatic moment too, is a soundbite of that too, right? Absolutely. Uh, the moment of the elimination of the surprise one. Here. Yeah. And Twitter actually had a field day with this. Wanted to give this a shot. Then why did he keep me there? Why did he just send us both home? And for him to say that he knows I'm gonna find someone great, it's like I wanted that to be him. <laughs> I feel like there has not been one episode where McKenna is not crying her People eyes. People cry a lot on this show. Did you feel that when you were on Bachelorette that everyone's, I mean, you guys are a little bit tougher, but I don't tears think they flow. were crying. I was fine. I mean, you never let those tears flow? I was good. Are I was you sure? Good, but I'm, I mean, it's okay to cry. Uh -huh. yeah. You have to cry. Yeah, mm -hmm. you just play some Drake and move on. For sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right. You wanted to show us something, right? Oh, yeah, too, I yeah. want to show you. Twitter had a field day with McKenna. Oh, you got a sad <laughs> face. I thought that was. <laughs> I had a good time laughing I think that's that. a, extremely fitting. Right. By the way, going back to Kelly, I believe, who we were talking about at the top, right? Yeah. You're friends with her, aren't you? Huh? Yeah. yeah. You guys talk a lot, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, she's cool. Yeah. So why can, can you let's give us a little... Let's get some tea. Yeah, let's get some tea get, here. Let's stir it up. Get the tea leaves going. You no, know, I ran into her at the gym uh, not too far from here. So, <laughs> uh -huh. and, uh, ran into her. She's a sweet girl, yeah. Okay. 
That's all you're gonna leave that? She's a sweet girl. She's a sweet girl. <laughs> okay. All right, we're, gonna, we're, we're gonna keep unpacking the layers of that, yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> Let's get to the brackets here. Let's see how we're doing. I lost my favorite pick a long time ago. Let's see Dustin. Dustin. Let's Dustin's see Dustin. Here. How you doing? Ooh, yeah. You're doing good though. Still got Madison in the run, and uh, we're in good shape there. Pretty All right, good. let's see mine. All right. Uh, Alea's definitely out. She was asked to leave for good. <laughs> but I'm still, we, we finally got that cleared up. Your bracket But I'm still good. pretty good. My bracket is ruined completely. Uh, <laughs> Sarah got the big X. But, you know, maybe I can come behind. I got Madison going to the final round, so uh, Who knows? She's, she's close. Uh, and out of our five Chicago girls, only your girl, Kelly, is still left in this thing here. Kelly's holding Shy strong. town. Mm-hmm. All right, represent. Right. right. Uh, how many hours next week? Is it seven hours? Um, oh, yeah. Bachelor next week. Let's let's try not. to condense this thing down. You get I think two is good. Six girls left. Let's, let's move see. It let's see how it goes. Yeah, right for sure. All right, you can continue to watch Pilot Pete's season of The Bachelor. It's every Monday night on ABC. You can slide into Dustin's DMs here. <laughs> Open invitation we're giving you yeah. on social media. And Dustin B. Kendrick. How you like that? We're, we're setting you up. Set me up. I like that. Set me up for success. Do you like when people slide into your DMs? Um, yeah. Yeah, you're okay? You respond to all of them? I don't. But well, there we go. That, that's the move well, right there. I'm, I'm a busy guy. Yeah, yeah that shows right. some, you know, exclusivity a little bit, right? I we'll like keep, that. We'll keep recapping the episodes in a bit. Not